Hi, Dave Wilson here again. That's not a knife. That's a knife. If you're using edged tools, it's very important to keep them sharp. So I'm going to show you a great little gadget for keeping all those tools razor sharp. Follow me. This is the Dia Sharp diamond sharpening card from DMT and as you can see this is the red one this is the fine 25 micron and basically it's a small metal credit card it's very thin on one side you've got the information telling you which one it is and on the other side you've got a very very smooth fine coating of diamond dust so it's like a big flat uh, diamond file uh, it comes in this small little red wallet. Uh, they're all colour coded by the way. There is a, let's just check the colours here, there is a blue one which is coarse, the fine which is red which is this one and a green which is extra fine. And These things are really useful for sharpening small tools, knives, blades, anything that you need to just give a quick sharpen to as you are working. So let's take a look at how you use it. Okay, so how do you use a knife sharpener? Well, I've just got a little craft knife here, a little scalpel. Um, and I'm just going to show you the basic technique. You want to put your sharpening stone flat on a flat surface. Now, this is something that I find really useful. This is that rubber sheeting. Uh, you get it in car shops for your car dashboard or in toolboxes, stuff like that. It's really useful. So anyway, make sure that your sharpening stone is nice and flat firmly fixed and your blade wants to be at about 20 degrees if I can just kind of show you that kind of side on there you want it to be like that it's it's a very very shallow angle okay so put it on and you're going forwards and slightly off at an angle and what you're doing is you're like shaving the sharpening stone uh, the best description I heard was, imagine you're trying to shave off a thin piece of the sharpening stone. So put it on, 20 degrees, moving it forward at a slight angle. And you're making that kind of movement, going across, and as I go across you're drawing the blade slightly back. You're not going up and down straight, it's important that you go at an angle. Make sure as well that the blade isn't you're not just doing the tip or the side like that. Make sure the whole cutting edge of the blade is in contact. Keep it at the same angle. Consistency is important. Now when you've done that, you can flip around and do the other side. The same on the other side if you want, if you've got a double-edged bevel. Of course, not all tools do have two bevels, so you might just only be doing one side. When you've finished off, a little piece of leather or something just to wipe the ends. Just take any burrs off and you should find that that is nice and sharp. Solder picks. Scribes. This is my solder pick. I absolutely love it. And what I do is I like a solder pick to be nice and sharp. So, place it on a sharpening stone. Again, a very shallow handle. Make sure that the very tip is level with the surface. And as you move it horizontally, just rotate it, just turn it round. Don't keep it in one spot, otherwise you might get flat. Keep it rotating at all times as you move. And what you'll find is that'll remove solder, flux, any contaminants. It'll keep your tip nice and sharp, nice and rounded, and nice and pointed. So this could be a solder pick, a scribe, or any kind of pointed tool that you're using. Um, with small precision screwdrivers, again, really easy to just keep the tips nice. What you want to do is hold it 90 degrees. Got to be absolutely vertical so that the tip is straight. And just backwards and forwards a little bit, just a few times, keeping it vertical at all times. You don't want to tilt it, otherwise you'll end up rounding the tip off. And that's no good. You want to keep the tip nice and sharp, so keep your screwdriver at 90 degrees backwards and forwards 
and just flatten out that edge there. You could if you wanted just put the sides on just to take the burrs off, just a couple of strokes but that's really it, you don't want to round the tip off and that'll keep your screwdrivers nice and precise. If you want to sharpen drill bits you can do uh, but it's just a little more trickier. Um, I've got a big one here so you can help to see it. Um, the cutting edges on a drill bit there are two there's one there and then the same on the other side okay so as it rotates round it's cutting using these two surfaces so they're the surfaces that you want to sharpen and you want to treat it like as it's a small knife so make sure that the cutting edge is flush against the sharpening stall put it backwards and just rotate it a little anti-clockwise remember anti-clockwise and then same as just rotate it round so I'm just pulling it backwards just rotating it round and then again just rub it off make sure you've not got any burrs and you should be able to see the edges the little bit lighter little bit polished and that's where it's cutting it'll just help you get a little bit longer out of your drills and some of your burrs perhaps now if you want to sharpen larger items this is the kitchen knife that I used at the beginning to slice the paper um, the length of the blade isn't a problem that's not that's not an issue the problem is the thickness of the blade because the sharpening stone is so flat so not a problem get yourself a little block of wood put something on grippy I'm using the sheet of this rubber material you could just use some double sided tape if you want and stick it down clamp it to your vise so let's just pop that on there and that just gives you the height so that when you put the blade on at 20 degrees you've got space down here at the side for the handle exactly the same again lay it flat 20 degrees and move it across simple as that turn it over the other side 20 degrees the whole length of the blade very important so as you go forward like I say remember pretend like you're trying to shave a bit of the blade off again wipe it on a piece of leather just to finish off and that literally is razor sharp um, I'll just show you the packaging here uh, it comes in one of these large packets tells you a little bit about the the different colors there a little bit of sharpening information on the back and it's nicely packaged and the individual sharpening card itself very nice about the size of a credit card and it fits into this little red plastic color coated wallet so like I said there's a red one a blue one and a green one made in the USA Dyer Sharp specialize in making diamond coated sharpening tools sharpening steels and all manner of sharpening products but this is really great because of its size you can carry it round with you if you are working uh, out and about different places also because it's so thin you can get into small areas so you can use this for just deburring the edges of a pair of new pliers perhaps or if you need to file in between a ring you know you want to get in between a ring shank when you're resizing it just get it in the gap there backwards and forwards flip it over and that'll polish the edges of the ring there so you know don't just think of it as a sharpener think of it as a diamond file it's a really useful piece of kit um, because of the way it's presented the nice little wallet and that I think this makes a great gift and here's a tip for you if you've got any friends who are fishermen they love these kind of things for sharpening their hoops and their tools so great gift for a friend there okay so that is the tire sharp sharpening card great little piece of kit and a bargain price too get yourself one thanks for watching